Hi, I'm Rob McIsaac and I'm here with... I'm Tim Dodd, I'm the Regional Program Manager of the Centre for Paramedic Education and Research. That's commonly known as the base hospital program responsible for certifying paramedics in our region. Tell me, what does the base hospital do exactly? So the easiest way to, um, to describe it is similar to a college of nurses. So there isn't yet a college of paramedicine. Um, in the province and so we take the place of that in a sense. Primary care paramedics can, um, they have a, a set of core directives which include a lot of symptom relief type um, medications for things like shortness of breath and congestive heart failure, chest pain, um, diabetic um, emergencies, things like that. I really enjoyed my visit to the uh, Centre for Paramedic Education and Research. I think uh, most people here probably have no idea uh, that we're even engaged uh, in this particular activity and it really shows uh, the breadth and depth of what we do here at Hamilton Health Sciences. We have nine municipalities that we deal with in our region. They all, when a paramedic does a call, they're now all on electronic formats instead of paper. So they fill out a form electronically and when they send that, we get a copy of not only the form but also the raw data. Part of the base hospital's mandate of quality assurance anyway is that we review a certain percentages of types of calls. So we have a whole system, you met Katie out there with the, the data portion, uh, a whole system of how we collect that information, produce an ACR um, for our audit uh, purposes. So that audit tool collects all of this information um, and the information that's important to us um, and to the services as well um, about uh, the care that they provide, so the patient care that's been provided on scene. I'm also uh, really impressed that CEPR is involved in continuous improvement through research. They're continually uh, scouring their data uh, to make sure that uh, they're training people up in the best possible way with the latest, most advanced uh, techniques. So this is our simulator. So we actually, um, as part of our training for paramedics, we try to recreate the environment that they typically work in. So we actually got an old ambulance and we took all the insides out of the ambulance. This one came from Quebec, so all the signs are in French on it. And, um, and we mounted cameras like she showed you outside. And then we put our high fidelity simulation mannequins in where they can actually breathe and have pulses, can talk and the instructors outside and the paramedics are in their environment expected to um, treat the patient that's in front of them. Yeah, I'm not getting a pulse now. Is that a cause for concern? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what we would do is we want to move to the head. We want to start managing these room breathing. Huh? Okay, defib's on. All right. So he's in what we would call a shockable clear. rhythm. Okay, so when they yell clear, we're going to take everything rhythm. off. And Back safety. on the chest. Okay. Back on the chest. So at some point we're going to want to manage his airway Two minutes. better than what we have. So I understand you have some <laughs> experience in intubation. I do, but it's, right. uh, yeah. In your left hand. Lead in. So lift forward and up. There we go. They told me I have eight seconds to do this. <laughs> there you go. And then if you sort of pull up towards the corner of the ceiling, get the back of the vehicle there, and you should see the bottom opening. There you go. Perfect. I'm in. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You did that quite well. That was. That, that looked really good, didn't it? The RT group will be impressed. Yeah. Yeah, that looked great. So. Yeah, I think I got it on in under three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the training is very hands-on and I got uh, a little taste of that by, uh, for the second time, learning how to uh, intubate somebody. Uh, not that I'm intending on doing it anytime soon, but uh, it's always fun for me to interact with people uh, in a hands-on way and uh, trying to engage in some applied learning. So thanks to everybody at CEPR for uh, having me, hosting me for the day. It was very enjoyable, very impressive, uh, and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.